Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we're going to take a trip in the Wayback Machine to 1984. And we are going to unbox Robotech Defenders Garten. Now, those of you Battletech players will know this as the Thunderbolt. It is a 65 ton battle mech. But in Robotech Defenders, it was called Garten. This is a 148th scale model. Uh, when you build it, its height will be eight and a half inches. So let's unbox it and let's find out what all the hubbub is about, huh? Uh, the shrink wrap fell off of this, I guess, years ago. Um, I bought it secondhand. The box, the box is still in pretty good shape for being what, 40 minus said 34 years old. It gives you some detailed views of the. Uh, model itself and then it gives you an advertisement for two more of the Robotech Defenders Talos which is the Wolverine which was in a previous unboxing and Aquilo which has no Battletech uh, comparison uh, but uh, I haven't gotten that one yet I'm working on getting that one and the one that looks like a, a Battletech uh, Battlemaster uh, UPC code copyright 1984 Let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. Here we go. We see on the top we have the instruction manual. What is the instruction manual? Ah, 27 easy steps to build the model of your dreams. And again, these are in a universal, they just show pictures. There's no real language there or anything like that. The only thing that is in English is on the front and it's in several other languages I think French and, and Spanish <clears throat> uh, the only other actual language in there is the colors uh, that you're supposed to paint the various things there's only uh, seven sprues in this model and it takes you step by step through building the model feet, arms, you know head, shoulders, knees, and toes uh, as it goes. So there we go. Isn't that just great? Just the nostalgia of 1984. 36 years old. Missile launcher, the laser, the missile launchers on his chest. I mean you just can't say enough good things about this style of model. Oh, look at that. You even build the individual missiles to put in the tube. That is so cool. And then finally, the paint scheme uh, for the model itself. Let's open up some of the sprues, shall we? I'm going to open them off uh, out of frame here. There we go. Because I don't want to knock the camera over when I open these up. This little sprue here is all little rubber grommet parts for all the mo uh, movement of the model. Bushing. Would bushing be an appropriate term for that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. The decals for this model are just in perfect condition. Absolutely perfect condition. And got a little bit of uh, English instructions and what I'm going to guess is uh, Japanese instructions uh, right there. Okay. We have the one sprue. If I can get it out of the bag without killing it or myself, I'm just going to take all of them out here and just look at them one at a time. Okay, we have a small, tiny little sprue here, which are some clear things, uh, which I guess would be the uh, cockpit maybe. Uh, tinted and everything like that. Pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna move the decal sheet up here. I don't want anything to happen to that. That's such a beautiful decal sheet. Uh, we have the sprue that has the hands and the uh, torso uh, that came off of the uh, the sprue that little part did right there. But again, what do you expect? It's 36 years old, ladies and gentlemen. 36 years old. This looks like the uh, waist and the foot uh, sprue here. Just very, very, it's still in 
good shape. The plastic hasn't degraded at all. Um, you know, which might be some of the uh, problem with the uh, plastics in the uh, ocean. Plastic doesn't degrade. It just breaks up into smaller plastic. Okay, let's do this here. Okay, let's get these other uh, sprues out of here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I'm going to put the bags back in the box there. Sprues one at a time. These are the bottom of the feet. Uh, the pilot sitting down, the pilot standing up, the pilot chair, and other just various aspects of the model. That must be where the torso twists into waist. Just really nice model. It's kept its color so well over the years. Got okay, some more parts of this magnificent, magnificent piece of history uh, for uh, Robotech, Battletech, and, uh, and things like that. It's not really uh, 172 scale, so I don't think you can use it in a uh, game of uh, like Mech Warrior if you're doing 25 millimeter miniatures. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Here we have all the beautiful weapon systems. Again, they're a bit bigger because this is 148th uh, scale. We have a we have the missile launcher. We have the individual missiles. Uh, those all come together. You don't have to put anything on uh, on those. Uh, which is nice because who'd want to glue two thin halves like that? I'm sorry, I'm not in frame. Uh, two thin halves like that together. You got the missile tube, the laser, uh, the jerry cans, and, uh, and 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 stuff like that. That's not a gas can. I'm sorry. Uh, or is it? I don't know. It might be just be a utility box on the outside of the battle mech. I don't know. So pretty, pretty nice stuff. So I can't wait to build some of these models, and this is just the bottom of the box. It's made out of uh, brown cardboard. All right, uh, pretty cool stuff. Thank you so much for taking this trip down uh, memory lane with me. I really appreciate it. I hope I can do more uh, bo unboxings like this uh, in the future. In fact, I am. Um, I have like two or three more uh, that I have to do. Uh, but again, let's just put the screws back in the box. Yeah, where they belong. Some things that get that can get easily lost are this little spur right here. And we'll put that in there. I'm gonna put these guys right here. Of course, the lovely instruction instructions that we have, and then the decals. And I think one of the things that made this series so unforgettable, just really so unforgettable, was just the box art. That box art, the, the pose is dynamic. You see he's stomping through the city and everything like that. It just looks fantastic. So I'll uh, see you next time when we do uh, another unboxing. Until then.